what up everybody it's your boy cash wrangledanger out here today sunny streets of west pennsylvania you know your boy fucked around and bought himself another bike another harley another dyna fucking sweet fucking ride 2016 dyna lowrider s this one's got the uh, screaming eagle twin cam 197 cubic inch engine in it got the suspension all redone this morning from uh super custom super super custom super super guys up at uh arlington texas this right here it's got the cigarette monkey two into one arlen ness uh derper uh double intake uh i did the uh electric start eliminator kit for weight distribution saves a little bit of weight took the passenger pegs off because no bitch is getting their stinky fucking pussy on this seat. Got the Michelin Pro uh, Racer double grippers. Um, this thing just had so much torque it was just shredding the fucking street tires. So I had to get knobbies on this son of a bitch. Did a double clutch mod here. You got the mini clutch and you got the full clutch. So uh, if you're ever in a situation where the front end is too far up in the fucking air. And you got to shift in the 10th gear. You can use the mini clutch. This is actually the front brake now. The shifter is actually underneath the intake right here so when you want to shift you got to reach your fingers down here open up the fucking air box <sighs> what's up guys cash from srk cycles <sighs> today we're looking at the honda xr250r <sighs> First off, Pathogens 86, love thy father as God is thy witness. Yeah, we got the fucking 18 gallon fucking fuel tank. This thing runs on turbo diesel. Son of a bitch sounds fucking good too. I took the Speedo off because it uh, the wind kept ripping it off. But right now I can tell by the way the wind is hitting me in the face. We're doing about uh, 197 or so. Very nimble feeling chassis on this son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. This thing is uh, definitely running pretty good. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. In all seriousness. This is the second bike I bought. <laughs> oh shit, I can't stop, I can't stop. That is so fucking hot. Holy shit. Yeah. 2004 Honda XR250R. This thing's pretty sweet. I got this in April, I think. Um, sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. I'm fucking really out of shape. The XR250Rs are kind of like a rare bike now because they stopped making them in 04 and they've been pretty sought after. So everyone who has them has like a bunch of them where they like kind of hoard them or just really never let go of them. They're really nice. They're really, really great trail bikes. They have a really good transmission. They're really low first gear. Really tall six gear. Um, they're light. They're nimble. Got a nice headlight. Um, <laughs> six speed transmission. What else could you ask for, really? They're pretty sweet bikes. This one here, uh, completely bone stock, even the exhaust. It's a really fun little play bike to just have and just get out and do donuts on and wheelie and not have to worry about fucking smashing up your nice bike. But this is a really great find. I got it. I found it on Cycle Trader and the guy was like, hey, uh, at 2004 XR250R, a thousand bucks, barely ridden. I was like, holy shit. So I immediately messaged the guy. I didn't hear about, I didn't hear back from him for like two months. <laughs> and I was like, you know, whatever. And I finally got a call from this number. I was a great fucking telemarketer. I was like, great, a telemarketer. And he's like, hey, is this Cash? I'm like, yeah, who's this? He's like, hey, uh, this is Bill from Cycle Trader. 
saw that you were interested in my XR. Sorry, I've been out of town. He's like, you still want to come look at it? I'm like, fucks yeah. So it's like an hour away. I'm driving there and the guy calls me and he's like, hey man, look, I'm really sorry, but uh, I got the XR out this morning and the thing is like leaking gas really bad. I was like, fuck. Well, so what do you want to do? And he's like, well, look, you come here. He's like, I'll knock $200 off the price. He's like, it still runs. It's just leaking gas really bad. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll come check it out. Show up. And every time I turned the gas on, it would just start like pouring gas out of the bottom. So I was like, all right, well, I'll, uh, I'll take it, you know, 800 bucks, whatever. It probably won't cost me that much to fix it. Then I got home, started riding it, and I sort of got it, it stopped leaking gas. It hasn't leaked gas since. And my best guess is that the float bowl and the carburetor is stuck. Like, that's really the only thing I could figure. I could figure. You could tell the guy just wasn't, like, really, like, mechanically inclined. He was just kind of like, yeah. I bought the bike kind of just to go on trail rides with my friends. He's like, but... I don't know. Like, he bought this bike in 2005. I bought it in 2019, and he never changed the oil, <laughs> so it had like 14-year-old oil in it. I'm gonna go up the hill climb of doom. The hill climb of doom strikes again. But yeah, that's the XR250R. Might do some videos of it in the future. I'm not exactly sure, but thanks for watching. Until next time. Stay beautiful. Peace out, homeboys and homegirls. Yeah.